everybody. It's time for math fun style. Okay. <clears throat> you are going to need a few things to participate in this lesson. What you're going to need is two groups of 10 objects. Okay. So if you look down here, you can see I have 10 Cheez-Its and 10 chocolate covered raisins, okay? If you're not sure what to use, you can go into your little baggie that was in your bin that an adult picked up for you yesterday, and you can get out your red and yellow counters, and you can use 10 reds and 10 yellows, okay? So you need two groups of 10 objects, all right? The other things you need are you're going to want your math workbook that is new that is uh was also in your bin okay it says math on it and it has a bunch of blank paper okay you're going to want that and you're also going to want a pencil okay so you should have a pencil your math workbook and two groups of 10 objects all right so here's what we are going to do. We are going to write a number together, okay? And then we are going to show the number by hopping on one foot and with our objects, okay? So I am gonna get my big board here. And as soon as you see the number, I want you to say it out loud and then you can write it on the first page of your math workbook, okay? All right, raise your hand if you know that number. You're right, it is 35. So we have to show 35 by hopping on one foot and with our objects. But there's a problem. I do not have enough energy to hop 35 times and I do not have enough objects to show 35. So what can I do to show the number 35 without hopping 35 times and wasting all my energy and without wasting all of my delicious Cheez-Its and chocolate covered raisins. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think about how we could show that number without hopping 35 times and using 35 objects. Okay, I don't know what your ideas were, but I did think of an idea, okay? So what we could do is we could break the number down into the tens place and the ones place, okay? Now, who remembers which place comes first? Is it the tens place or the ones place? That's right, it's the tens place. So our three is in the tens place. Whoopsie. Our three is in the tens place. And our five is in the ones place. That means we have three groups of 10 and five ones, okay? So what I am going to do is use my Cheez-Its as groups of 10 and my chocolate covered raisins as ones, okay? So how many Cheez-Its am I going to use? I'm going to use three Cheez-Its 
because there are three groups of 10 in this number, okay? One, two, three. Okay, so these three Cheez-Its represent three groups of 10, okay? Now, how many chocolate-covered raisins am I going to use? Remember that chocolate-covered raisins are ones. Good job. I'm going to use five chocolate-covered raisins because there are five ones, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we just showed the number 35 by using groups of 10, Cheez-Its, and ones, chocolate-covered raisins. Now, how are we going to show 35 by hopping on one foot without hopping 35 times? Well, we can use our... Let's see here. Our left leg as groups of 10 and our right leg as groups of one, okay? So if our left leg, which looks like the right on the screen, okay, if our left leg is groups of 10, how many times am I going to hop to show the number 35? I'm going to hop three times because there are three groups of 10 in the number. Ready? Just your left leg. All right? Left. One, two, three. Good job. Now, how many times am I going to hop with my right leg? My right leg is ones. Nice work. I'm going to hop five times because there are five ones in this number. Ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Good job. This time, I'm going to write a number. I want you to write the number somewhere on that same page. And then I want you to show that number with your objects and by hopping on one foot, okay? And then we'll go over it together, all right? All right, who can tell me the number that they see we're gonna erase 35, but you can keep the number 35 on your page. Who can tell me the number that they see on the board? Good, it is 57, okay? Now, I don't want you to have to jump 57 times, and I don't want you to have to use 57 objects. So see if you can show the number 57 with your objects and by hopping. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute or two to try it out, and then we'll go over it together. All right. All right, <clears throat> if you need more time, you can pause the video and take a little more time, okay? But we are going to go over it together now, okay? So, we are trying to show the number 57 
with our objects, okay? Remember, my Cheez-Its are my groups of 10. My chocolate-covered raisins are my ones, okay? So I am going to use five Cheez-Its to show my five groups of 10, okay? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so with my Cheez-Its, I have five groups of 10, just like we have five groups of 10 in this number. With my chocolate covered raisins, I'm going to show seven because there are seven ones in this number, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so you should have five of one object, that is your groups of 10, and seven of your other object, that is your groups of one, okay? And if you did that, then you showed the number 57 without using 57 objects, okay? Now, we can hop. This time we're gonna do it a little quicker, okay? So, with my left foot, I'm gonna show my tens. With my right leg, I'm gonna show my ones, okay? Ready? We're gonna hop five times on our left leg to show five groups of 10, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Seven times with our right leg to show groups of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now let's do it one more time just for fun. Left leg five times for five groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five. Right leg seven times for seven ones. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. All right. We are going to do one more number, okay? So on that same page in your math workbook, you I want you to write the number that I write. This chalk is cheap. Okay, that's a big number, but I think we can show it, all right? Say the number out loud and write the number in your workbook. All right, the number is 92, okay? So I'm gonna put all my objects back over on this side. And I want you to show the number 92 with your objects. All right, if you want a little more time, you can pause the video. So we have nine groups of 10 and two ones, okay? So remember my Cheez-Its are my groups of 10, my chocolate covered raisins are my ones, okay? So I'm going to use how many Cheez-Its? Nine, because we have nine groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I have nine Cheez-Its for nine groups of 10. How many chocolate covered raisins am I going to use? That's right, I'm gonna use two chocolate covered raisins because we have two ones. One, two. All right, so we showed the number 92 
with our Cheez-Its, groups of 10, and our chocolate-covered raisins, ones. You obviously probably use different objects at home, okay? Now, let's hop the number. Ready? Left leg, groups of 10. Right leg, ones. All right? Ready? We're going to hop with our left leg nine times for nine groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to hop with our right leg two times for two ones. Ready? One, two. Good job. Now let's do it one more time. Hop with your left leg nine times and your right leg two times. We're going to do it real fast right now. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch legs. One, two. Good job. All right. So that is it for this session of math fun style. I hope you had fun. And you know what? I think Mama Echo needs some food. So we're going to feed Mama Echo before we go. Mama Echo, are you hungry? She's hungry. All right. Go ahead, Mama Echo. Eat all those chocolate-covered raisins. They're all for you. Whew. Mama Echo is full. All right, I'll see you soon.